Welcome to Build Your Arsenal. Today we're going to do a review of five holsters for the Sig Sauer P365. Links for all the holsters we are looking at today are in the description below. These holsters are primarily appendix inside the waistband holsters with a few deviations. For each holster, I'll show it in the waistband on the right and left side in appendix carry. I'll show it with my cover garment pulled up and then with my cover garment pulled down to give you an idea of how it conceals. And we'll do that for both sides. So let's get started. The first holster is the Polecraft Inside the Waistband Kydex holster. It's selling for $23.99 on Amazon as of right now. It has great retention. Uh, it has adjustable height and can't. I set it for deep concealment. My P365 has a manual safety and it fits perfectly in this holster. That's not true with some of the other ones we'll take a look at. It's also very comfortable. Overall, this one shocked me. It's affordable, adjustable, and comfortable. Next up is the SciTac Inside the Waistband Holster. It's $19.99 on Amazon. Uh, the advantage with this holster is that it has a claw or a wing that helps conceal the grip of the gun. I'm not a fan of this holster, however. Uh, it doesn't accommodate the manual safety well at all. It doesn't cover the magazine release, so I press the mag release a couple times while reviewing it. The retention isn't the greatest, it just feels like cheaper plastic. So overall, this is one to pass on. There are simply just better options out there. Next is the Sig Sauer Inside the Waistband, Outside the Waistband holster. This holster came as part of a pack pack when I got my P365. It's sort of an all-in-one holster, so you can carry it inside the waistband, outside the waistband, and in a variety of positions. That's great for versatility and having lots of different options to explore, but it doesn't really do any of them particularly well. I'd use it as a starting point to see what type of carry position you prefer. If concealability isn't a huge issue for you, or you're going to wear a loose cover garment, this will definitely get the job done. Now we'll look at the Tolster Oath inside the waistband holster. The one I'm reviewing is the carbon fiber option for $79.99 on Amazon, but there is a black option for $10 less. This one has a wing, adjustable height, and a very strong, almost too strong of a clip. This is definitely the highest quality of the holsters I reviewed. It's more expensive, but it seems worth the money. The clip is very aggressive, but that only means it's super secure your gun and your holster aren't going anywhere. It's also a very thin clip, uh, making it more discreet if you're tucking the shirt in. Uh, I had no issues with fit for the manual safety on my P365. Like I said, with one of the other holsters, that was kind of an issue, not an issue at all with this one. It fit perfectly. It's also very comfortable too. Overall, this is the one I plan to stick with, although I'll have to adjust it a bit and mess with it for concealability. Lastly is the 1791 Gun Leather three-way outside waistband holster. It's $47.99 on Amazon and comes in three different colors. I really wanted to like this holster because it's leather, but it didn't fit the P365 well at all. My biggest con is the holes for running my belt through the holster. I didn't think they were in great spots for the carry positions, especially for cross draw and they also aren't in the right spots to draw the pistol close in to the body. This one was a disappointment for me. That does it for today. Again, links for all the holsters we looked at are in the description below. Thanks for watching Build Your Arsenal.